this is a video of this 90 amp MIG welder running off my solar power which is 200 watts of solar panels and a mess of batteries all hooked together I only have uh, two-thirds of the battery bank hooked up and they will be running this uh, cheap 1500 watt modified sine wave inverter and this is going to be powering powering uh, the welder and I got a little uh, thing there it doesn't read modified sine wave very well that's why it's only showing 91 watts or volts I mean but uh, <coughs> we're going to see what kind of a weld we can get on inverter and uh, battery power so I'm going to just set this down here we're going to be welding on this old old crappy uh, saw blade and then we're going to see how well this thing works just got to plug it in i sure that it is in fact plugged in you can hear a buzzing a louder buzzing noise than uh, normal from this machine because the modified sine wave and the plug goes through this mess of cable oh. and I am to the inverter and we are going to do just a crappy little weld here That was just a short little demonstration. Let's see what it ended up with here. Where's my... All right. I did... Uh, this is the weld I did right here. This one was just me playing before. This is the weld I did burn through. as I was welding a bit too hot. Not the best weld, but I'm not a very good welder. <sighs> the one with the holes, the one I just did on solar, and that's what you can do. And I was welding, uh, I was welding on minimum, which is uh, 65 amps. Max is 90 amps. I can weld on 90 with the solar setup. I just uh, it burns through nonstop, so it's just way too heavy duty for this little saw blade. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I've done this from the back of my Jeep. I've had an uh, inverter hooked up, and I can weld no problem with it. So if you're wondering, and there's a s slight demonstration that you can weld off a uh, heavy-duty enough inverter. Thanks for watching.